Now, we all know and love the magnetic timeline on iMovie, but how do you turn it off? Usually, you select your clips, bring it to the timeline, and it snaps like this. I'll just change the settings so you can see what I'm doing. And it works really well. It's a great feature. But sometimes, when you're editing to a music track, you want to keep specific shots in place at a specific part of the audio. But it snaps back into place at the end of the last clip. With its Big Brother Final Cut Pro, the magnetic timeline can be disabled. This option is not available in iMovie, at least not in version 10, which is the version I'm using. Here's how I do it. Let's start with the audio track. I'll be using a simple 4-4 drum beat at 120 beats per minute. This will make it easy to insert a photo with a default time length of 4 seconds to match the beat of the music. Now this is where the magic happens. I select a background and bring it down to the video track. I use a white background as it makes it easy to see any gaps in the cutaway track. Then I set the length of the background to match the same as the audio track. Around about there, that'll do. Set my preview panel to where I want it. Back to the media. Now I can have my clips and it stays right where I put it. At this point, we should check our video overlay settings. You want it set to cutaway, 100% opacity and zero fade. Now back to the timeline. To get a clip at a specific point, I set the playhead to where I want it. In this example, I want an after drum fill at exactly 16 seconds. Select your photo, bring it to the playhead, and it should snap right in place. You can move things on the timeline quite easily by just putting them where you want. And again, the magnetic feature still works, but be careful not to go over the time length of the previous photo because it will override it. And this is why video is a little trickier. I have my shot set it like this, and I want to put a video in this slot here. Now my video is slightly over four seconds. You drag it down, put it into place at the end of the previous clip, and it overwrites, now losing the beat. What I do is I put the clip in another place on the timeline, select it to where I want it in terms of editing it down to less, just less than four seconds. And select it, try again, Mark. And I got lucky that time, it slots right into place. And just checking there, that's all good. Let's try that again, this time with a small selection. Grab the clip, put it into place, being careful not to overwrite the end of the previous clip. Let's zoom in. And now you can drag the clip right to the end and it should snap into place. So now we've got something like this. And there you have it. For an example of how I've used this editing technique, check out my Balcony Blockbuster video link below. Thanks for watching, and remember if you can't have the best, make the best of what you have.